Hi everyone, this is a little introduction to Mendeley. I hope this introduction will help you get started on using a very stable reference manager, more stable than most other reference managers that I have come across. First of all, we need to install this application, and it's free. We go to the Mendeley website, which is mendeley.com, and from here, you need to sign up and download the software. If you are a Facebook user, you can actually use your Facebook logins. Once you have downloaded and installed the software, again, it works both on PC and Mac, you will first of all need to um, install the plugins for Word or OpenOffice. In this case, I've already done it. And you will find that in the menu above, in this case under Tools. Once you've installed the plugins in Word, it means you're ready to rock and roll. So let me go over and illustrate this. We'll go in over into Google Scholar, and we're going to look for an article here, in this case by Mili Modigliani, which we would like to have in our paper, and we want to cite it. So here we have the paper, a very well-cited paper. And the nice thing is we can then download it, which I've already done. And we can also then download all the reference details that we need to have for our references in our paper. The first time you do this, you need to follow the instructions so that you set it up automatically. It basically will say here, citation, not import into Ref Manager. But if you do it the first time, you can set it up so that it automatically downloads in the, in the format that you would, would like to use. Uh, and in this case, you want to download it, import into Ref Manager. Once you click on that, it downloads an RIS file. This file can be opened. And again, you might have some issues with this the first time, so just make sure that you don't associate RIS files with um, Mendeley software. You open up this citation, and it then flows straight into your Mendeley reference library with all the details that you need for an accurate citation. As you can see on this page, you also see some uh, PDF science or Adobe science next to some of the documents. It means that I have a PDF document associated with the reference. And I download all of my articles into one library. I call it References. And I always save them with a name that I can remember. And like that, I have now linked the reference with a PDF document. And from Mendeley, I can then find all the articles that I was looking for and make notes, etc., etc. Once you've done this, uh, you are ready to use the citation in your paper. So let's say that we, we're writing something, yada, yada, and in this case, I'll close the capital, and we would like to cite Mili Modigliani. We go up into our plugin, we find the Mendeley. This will look slightly different in OpenOffice, but you will find it in the menu above, and, and it's basically the same for all. And here you need to insert a citation. Mendeley is very efficient and very quick, so it doesn't slow you down. Miller, Miligiani, there we have it, and click OK, bam, in the text. And we continue. Uh, we can also include other sources here if we want to. Uh, I, can, I can do microfinance, uh, Etc. We do. We include a reference here. We can take units. I have some uh, a video recording in this case that we'd like to reference. Well, now when we have written our paper, we would like to have a, a bibliography at the end usually, and you need to tell the software where uh, you will have this bibliography. In this case, I just type reference here. We could of course insert a new page. Etc. But I'm just going to keep it like that, and then tell Mendeley to insert the bibliography here. Bomb. There it is. The nice thing about this is actually uh, it keeps track and makes sure that all of the citations are in your reference list. So let's say that you actually wanted to change the citation, uh, like this, and we go in and we pick another uh, source that we want to use. So I take Merceland from 2010. Um, 
And we also actually want to take out the Milo Modigliani citation there. And maybe use uh, uh, another author. So we're going to use his, in this case, his um, citation. Put that back in. It will change your references. So you don't need to do the manual, uh, everything will be up to date. We can go back over into Mendeley. Some of the nice features of the software is that it also allows you to keep, create libraries very efficiently, very stable, uh, or very easily on, on, um, on any topic you would like. It also allows you to create groups which you can share with others and invite. In this case, I have a group created, which I'm sharing then research and research documents with others, other researchers. Well, I hope that interaction was helpful for you. Good luck.